Hello, I'm Phoenix City Councilwoman Kate Gallego. In this issue of On The Go, we're at Tacos Chiwas on McDowell in District 8 near the 51 freeway. We've been working with a lot of the restaurants on McDowell and have realized they really have something special happening here. We have great restaurants and a huge variety of cuisines. You can eat Moroccan food, you can eat food from the country of Somalia, we have Chinese food. Today we're, we're highlighting Mexican food, all on McDowell. But we've realized that McDowell is a hidden gem and that not everyone knows about all the great restaurants and the huge variety on McDowell. So we've enlisted one of the leading food artists or, and bloggers, Diana Brandt, who is here with us today from Arizona Foodie. Thank you for joining us, Diana. Can you tell us a little bit about your background in Arizona Foodie? So Arizona Foodie started about uh, three and a half years ago and basically just started out of the passion for food and kind of trying to create like a community around sharing spots that were opening up. The uh, food scene was really booming back then as it still continues to and um, I just I wanted to take pictures of my food and people didn't want to see it on my personal page anymore. So that was kind of how it all started. So where can you find Arizona Foodie? So you can find Arizona Foodie all over. We're on Instagram at AZ Foodie, Twitter, um, on Facebook at Arizona Foodie, ArizonaFoodieMag.com. And we also have a printed publication quarterly that you can find around town as well called Arizona Foodie Mag. Wonderful. Yeah. The uh, <laughs> restaurateurs on McDowell, we're very excited to partner with you because you do have one of the best social media presences on food right now. And we want more people to discover the great things that are happening on McDowell. There's a lot of great places popping up all over. So um, Tacos She Was is definitely one that people love and has been, um, you know, been talked about quite a bit. So I'm excited to be here. Wonderful. And so you really do a great job both covering the story of the food, but also photographing it. Yes. So the magazine really focuses on like the stories behind the people and not just the food, which I love because I think that, um, you know, I can take pictures of food and post it on Instagram, but there's so much passion and work and um, just their life that goes into a restaurant and owning businesses in the industry. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. So. Um, I enjoy sharing that as well. It really makes the experience better when you understand who are the people running the restaurant. How did they pick the location? How did they pick and design the menu? Yeah. So even these guys here have, have an interesting story of, you know, struggles that they've gone through, they're broken into, and, and really the community here and just in the food industry rallying around them and helping them to rebuild the store. So sharing those kinds of things I think is really important. Wonderful. Well, we're going to be right back and we're going to meet the owners of Tacos Chiwas. Thank you so much for having us. Will you tell us a little bit about how you became the owner of this establishment? You know, we, uh, we had a passion to kind of open up a store that highlighted food from our childhood, uh, specifically from Chihuahua. Uh, we thought it was a really underserved you know, uh, cuisine, so we just wanted to kind of bring that and make sure people knew that there's more. Every region in Mexico has their own individuality, and that's what we wanted. Fabulous. So, keeping in mind with that, what makes that kind of cuisine distinguishable? So what makes your cooking different than all the other places? I think it's it's, it's as subtle as a difference as, it, like, uh, as the way that you make, you know, like the pastor, every single place and that's one of the big ones, you know, every pastor you ever have tried it, it's probably different. Everybody uses different styles of chilies, the way that they marinated. Um, for us, it's just, you know, like the barbacoa, which you have right there, is actually very special. We do it with a lot of cheek, um, so it has to have that fatty consistency to it. Um, and it's just, you know, it's a very unique uh, flavor profile. It's not anything that I think you can find in just any other place. Sonora has their own style of doing it. Sinaloa, I mean, even in Chihuahua, there's different regions within it that do things differently. One of the big things was like the gorditas. Everywhere we went, um, in a lot of places in Mexico, the gorditas are made with a corn base and are fried. Um, we grew up eating flour gorditas, so it was a kind of important thing to kind of make sure people knew that those existed as well. So you kind of went over what we have on the plate, but I don't think you explained what's 
since our last dish here. And are these the most popular items? They're not, it's, they're all kind of, uh, yeah, I think the gordita with the rajas is by far the, the best seller from those ones. The barrafoa has become, I mean, it's something we, we started off as just a, you know, a special, and people loved it so much that we had to put it on the menu. Pastor is just a staple. You have to have pastor in the menu. Um, you know, we make all our tortillas in house. We make them to order. So we have, you know, my mom back there pressing tortillas on the morning, and then you know, my dad at night. So it's just like it's it's a very simple yet complicated uh, thing to do. You've had great luck here already. Every time we're here at lunch or dinner, it's packed. So we had a special time to film today where you have room for us. Yeah. But you're growing. What's next for? Your family. You know, it's just we're we're still we're we're partnering up with Chris Bianco, opening up another store on 15th Street in Van Buren. Um, you know, it's just it's highlighting additional things that we can do. You know, with with the store that we have now, which is you know that it's supposed to be, it's like quick service. You know, phone plates, it's get and go. You know, five minutes. Everybody has enough. You know, you have 15 minutes for lunch. You can be in and out, no problem. The other one, we're we're turning it a little bit different. You know. Um, it's going to be a little bit more intimate, that style of cuisine, so. Excellent. Well, yeah. we are looking forward to your Rollins Market yeah. location, also yeah, right. in District 8. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank yeah, you for co-hosting. This has been On The Go with Kate Gallego. As always, please contact our office if we can help you navigate the city of Phoenix. Yeah.